Hi, this is Tim from RealWebsiteHints.com, and in this video I want to share with you a quick tip on a technique on how to make the transitions between the sections of your web pages look a little bit more interesting. In this video I'm going to show you a couple of different transitions. One is this wave transition that I created here, and then the second one is this triangle transition sort of pointing down to the next section. Of course, you're not limited to these two designs. As a matter of fact, online um, I did find this other website here, which um, is a mountain resort, and they've got some really interesting mountain style transitions between their sections, as you can see here. So just sort of keeping that with that theme, and it kind of is a great way of making your website stand out um, and be a little bit different from the standard website. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we do this. So the first thing we need to do is in Photoshop or some other photo editing software, we need to make this transition here. Um, in this case, I chose to make a wave-like transition. And you want to make it the same color as the section that it's going to be um, butting up against. So you just find the hex color, add it into, in this case, Photoshop. And I just used a paint bucket effect. Um, I drew a wavy line and then used the paint bucket effect to paste it in here. And then I did the same thing with this triangle effect. And as far as size goes, I made uh, the width of this 1920, and then the height is about 170 picks. And for this triangle, I made the width about 500 picks, and then the height around 67 picks or so. And then it's really important after that is you want to save these images as PNGs. I found that for some reason saving them as a PNG 24 versus a PNG 8 seemed to work better. Um, doesn't really make any sense, uh, but that was the case. And then you want to also make sure that you save it with the transparency because we need the transparency effect so that it blends into the next section. And then here in WordPress, go ahead and just edit your page. And in this example, I'm using the Divi theme, but this should work with a lot of other uh, page builder themes. But I really like the Divi theme now. The Divi theme is definitely one of my best themes. Um, they're actually going to be adding some major upgrades to it in the next uh, month or so, um, where we'll be able to actually edit your pages on the front end. So I'm really looking forward to that. And if you're interested in Divi, you can check out a sponsored link I've got in the description below, or you can head over to realwebsitehints.com slash Divi. So with the Divi theme, um, we've got these this first section here, which I've got that image background, and I want that to lead into this blue section uh, down here, the section that's got the blue background. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to actually add an image section to to this uh, first top section here. So in this case, um, in this, I'm going to use this row here, which has got a divider in it, and the divider is blank, so there's nothing to worry about there. And then I'm just going to insert a module. I'm going to use the image module, and we're just going to modify a couple of settings. So I've got my wavy line image here that I've already put in. You set as image. And we're just going to adjust a couple of settings here. I'm just going to scroll down. First setting I'm going to change is the remove space below the image, because we don't want any space between this section and the bottom section. And then the next thing I want to do is just make sure I turn the animation off because we don't obviously don't want that image to animate in. So we'll just do no animation. And then with the Divi theme right now, you can just preview it and see what that's going to look like. And there we go. And now we can see that, that image is all the way down on the bottom. The one other thing you do want to check is under advanced design settings, you want to make sure that you click on this for force full width just to make sure that that image stays full width on that module. Go save and exit. And then we'll click update. And then we can preview those changes. So there we go. There's the wavy line on top. And if you wanted to, you could also reduce the amount of padding uh, between this section and the top section. So we've sort of added in this padding on that top section. Let's go back and edit page, and we'll add that triangle transition below. And of course, um, you don't have to use these shapes. You can use any sort of uh, creative shapes that you've got. But these are the ones that I found uh, were easy to do. So in this next section with this um, arrow pointing down, we want to add that into the section below uh, that blue section with all of that text. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new row, so a full width row, and I'm going to drag this up to the top of this section. I'm going to insert an image module. I'm going to add that triangle module that I added. And then let's uh, turn the animation off on this image here. So no animation, and we'll click save and exit. And then, and then we need to turn the top padding off 
here uh, for this entire section here. Scroll down here to where we find the top padding, and it's already set to zero. Um, we can click on that and make sure that that's saved. Save and exit. And then on this uh, row here where we added that image, we also need to make that padding zero as well. So just scroll down here. We'll make the custom padding zero. And then click save and exit. And then there's one other thing I need to do with this image here, and that is make sure that it is centered. So we're going to change the alignment from um, image alignment left to image alignment center. And we can go ahead and just preview that right in Divi. And there we go. We can see that that triangle is appearing right at the top of that section. Save and exit. And then let's just see the final product. So we'll click update. And then we'll go view page. Scroll down. And so now I've got the wavy line transition at the top. And we've got this triangle image pointing down to the next section. So it looks like all of this is part of this middle section here. All right, so there we go. That was a pretty quick and easy technique. Uh, if you go ahead and try this technique on your own, and you want to share your, your results and your creative uh, section transitions, please do so in the comments below. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tips and tricks, and visit me at realwebsitehints.com. Thanks for watching.